My name's Mike Moyer, um, I'm an antique dealer and I specialise in Art Nouveau and Art Deco glass. I've been an antique dealer for getting off and nearly 20 years now uh, and today at the Lecture Club I'm going to be talking about Galais and Dome, two of the most famous names in glass and telling a little bit of story about their rivalry and how their rivalry was actually very productive because it made each of them go on further and better each time and uh, develop probably some of the best glass ever made. Art glass has proved a great market over the last few years and the thing that I always amused is Galley and Dome have not been remotely out of fashion for over 100 years. They are in that weird concept of outside fashion. Very, very sweet piece. It would have been incredibly expensive in its day. Um, but this is the sort of thing that Galley was making in the 1880s. One of the problems with glass is if you have two or three colours and you mix them together, you end up with brown glass. You don't end up with blue, green and red glass, you just get brown. So you have to find some way of stopping the colours mixing to be able to generate a colour picture. And that's what this was all about. The whole idea of cameo glass was the first time they ever got glass to show pictures. The fashion by the sort of 1880s, 1890s for cameo glass was going out in most of Europe. And then Galley decided perhaps he could do something with it. Put to get a picture on it. What they learned was you could internally and externally put thin layers of different coloured glass and they wouldn't mix, especially if you let them cool a little bit between and then re -dip. And if you had a sequence of different colours, then you had the potential to draw pictures because you could cut through the layers. This was Auguste Dome. He was the eldest son of Jean Dome. That's the family. So they took over glass works. One of the sons, uh, the one I showed a picture of, that, was taken out of lawyer training, forcibly, and told to learn how to be a glass maker. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they realised that, as in many things, the high end of the market was not where the money was, so they went to art glass. And they still exist, and every 25 years, they just change everything they do, they do something different, which is why they survive. Then noticing what Kelly was doing, they started doing their cameo. Uh, but you'll notice immediately, they kept the mocking colours. So Gale and Dime are very instantly separate because there's much more texture and Sort of composition in the colour. Galley was a purist, simple colour, one colour on top of another. They, they, they're doing bottle colours and more opaque colours. This one's incredible because it goes really, really over the top. I don't know if you can see it, but all the way up here is carved a spider web. Can you see it? So sometimes they went overboard and this has got spider web carved into it, as well as being cameo, but then painted. Most people were shocked that Galley got there, but everybody was completely amazed when Dome was given equal for a prize because they were the outsiders. They were the people that only took on glass because of a bad debt. And within 20 years, with their business knowledge and everything else, they'd actually caught up with the greatest of the land. 